We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Texas Rangers. Digging in now, Andrew Benintendi. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Here now the 2-2. Lifted in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. 1-1. Strike two, swinging. Kluber has racked up over 1,300 innings on the Major League mound, and he's worked to a 1.10 whip in that time, just a little over a base runner per inning. Very impressive. Squeezing it is Odor, and there are two away now. Next up for the Red Sox, J.D. Martinez. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Four hits already in the series through seven at bats. A one one. Taken strike two. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Rafael. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers pulled high in the air out to right field. Chu has a read on it, and that's the third out. Striding into the box, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Chasing after it is Verdugo. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So next to the plate for Texas, Matt Duffy. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Weak grounder down the line at third. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him looking. Strike three. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. And that's through for a hit. Batting, batting. Stepping in now, Alex Verdugo. Grounded to third. This could be two. Odor to first and Guzman to complete the double play. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's 0 for 8. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And 
and that's going to be high two and two now. I got to count two and two. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. A bouncer to the left side. Andrus has it. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Joey Gallo batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. The bouncer to the left side. Devers fields it cleanly. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Danny Santana batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. A little bit outside. Two and one. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this one bounds around against the wall. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. At the plate now, Shin Su Chu. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. So stepping in, Ronald Guzman. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Bottom of the second here with no score. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Bradley waits on the 1-1. Back up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. The back. The left middle. Andrew. To the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. This one's down to third. Diving effort as it's off his glove. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first, and there are two on to start the inning now. Into the box now, Dustin Pedroia. Count is one and two now. Has a look, now the pitch. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. And that will bring up J.D. Martinez. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gallo is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. One for one after a single his first time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Two and two. Here it is. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What an outstanding play to end the inning. of the third now up next for the Rangers Robinson Chirinos and you see the numbers there he's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least and good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third now at the plate Rudnett Odor first chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk into the corner and slicing foul Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Elvis Andrews. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Right on the inside, Black taken for a called strike. 
swung on in the dirt strike three. Digging in Matt Duffy. Popped him up. Vasquez is there. And that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Rafael Devers. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Drive base hit to right. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Standing in now, Alex Verdugo. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Net for the Red Sox. The catcher. So now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Tough to do much with that one. A swing and a miss. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Striding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. To two balls and two strikes now. Moreland on second, Verdugo on at first with two down. Line to the right side. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 2 2. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Joey Gallo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. High and deep down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. And now it'll kick around in the corner. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate, Andrew Benintendi. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Oh, 
Pulled high in the air out to right field. Chu has a read on it. One out. Now to the plate, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1 home. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. The 1 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. The 1 1. He's in there for strike number two. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man. As a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and his side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Standing in, Shin Su Chu. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Chu with a two-ball, one-strike count here. 3-1. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count. All in on something over the harder plate. Hit sharply on the ground. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Now batter. The first base player. In now, Ronald Guzman. Tried to crush that ball. And now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. The second for one. Back over to Moreland, and they get two out of it. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Robinson Chirinos. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's going to even up the count at two and two. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Looked to me like he tried to do great. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Sixth about to get started. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He was a ground out victim last time up. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Here's Bogarts in the air out to deep left field. Gone to lead off the inning. Into the box, Rafael Devers. High in the air out to center field. Santana is right there, one down. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. One run in and one gone so far this inning. The 1-1 one -one home. Well, he's had a good game at the plate so far, two for two, but I don't think you want to work around him if you're on the mound. Pitch him smart, but you certainly don't want to give him too much credit. One out, nobody on. Heading out towards shallow right. Chu has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. All even now, two and two. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. The two two.
lifted in the air to shallow center field. And Elvis will put this one away, and that retires the side. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugnit Odor. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 home. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And that finds its way through for a base hit. To the plate now, Elvis Andrews. And now Andrews swings and misses here as they're able to set him down for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. Now the one and one pitch. A door on his way to second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. And now a throw to first, and they got him. Never really had a chance with the hit and run on as he gets doubled up on the line drive. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Vasquez. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. The three and one pitch. Good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. For the red card. The so they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. The 1-1 home is a fastball that misses. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Andrus, the relay, not in time as he beats the throw by a step. So a runner at first now with one away, and with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Throw over to the bag, runner back safely. This is popped up. Duffy moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So striding forward now, Dustin Pedroia. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The one two hit to first fielded cleanly and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Well, the plate now for Texas is the D.H. Willie Calhoun. He got called out on strikes his last time through. The one two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's Joey Gallo now. He went down on strikes last time up. And that misses two and one. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The one one. Drives it out to deep right center field. Verdugo backing up on it. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that is the right field. Into the box now, Shin Su Chu. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. 
Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking up around the letters. So striding in, Ronald Guzman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ryan Brazier answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Robinson Chirinos will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Jesse Chavez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Here's J.D. Martinez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Three and one to Martinez. Chavez has logged upwards of 900 innings on the mound so far and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. And there's a base hit. So a chance to add a little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eight. At the plate now, Xander Bogarts. And it's two balls and two strikes now. one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two and he misses there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out digging in once again Rafael Devers who could really use a knock here 0 for three in the game so far It's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one. To first and Guzman to complete the double play. So digging in now, Mitch Moreland. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. He set the 2-2. Two -two. Lifted in the air out to center field. Santana is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble ready to go for the last half of the inning stepping into the box Rukna Dodor he's one for two in this one this thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game only down by one all they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up and there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here's another 2-2. A bouncer up the middle. Gloved by Bogarts. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Got him swinging in the dirt. Vasquez recovers, but he can't get it there in time. Andres reaches on the strikeout. Time call here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. So a big moment here and standing in Matt Duffy and he does so representing the possible go ahead run in the dirt here but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance yeah. 
Now the three and two pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Really? So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Now running at first. Willie Calhoun will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. The set and the two and one pitch. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his zone again. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. One and one. Here it is. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And he struck him out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning. Jose Leclerc enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. And he fouls this one off. Three and two now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Fouled away. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gallo comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. The at the plate, Christian the Vasquez. Catcher. He's Christian. hitless in his two at bats Catch. so far. Yeah. And there's ball two now. lifted down the line and left left fielder giving chase he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out now batting. here's Jackie the Bradley field. now he reached on a fielder's Jackie choice Bradley. previously ready with the one and one Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball fouled off the 2 2 one more time not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side throw on to Guzman at first and the inning is over. Matt Barnes comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Danny Santana will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the tying runs aboard to start the home half. Nobody out, runner up through. One and two now. 
quick check on that tying run at first, but the runners back easily. The one two gets the outside corner strike three. Stepping into the box, Ronald Guzman. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Hot shot down the line, and he comes through with extra bases. Will they wave that tying run home? Hunter Cole will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. So now to the plate, Robinson Chirinos. And this is taken for a cold third strike. So they go right at him with the base open, and it pays off. And now there are two gone in the inning. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order, and two men gone. Stepping up now, Anderson Tejeda. He's got the potential tying run at third, the winning run at second base. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Sharply hit ball back up the middle, and he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit, and to score from third, the tying run. Darwin's and Hernandez takes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one to extra innings. In now, Nick Solak. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. The set and the 1-1 pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Dustin Pedroia struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Just got a piece of that one. Perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. The 2 2. Heading out towards shallow right. Shinsu Chu there to play it, and that's out number two. To the plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He singled his last time up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Two balls and two strikes now. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. Riding in once again, Willie Calhoun. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Set to deliver on two and one. He 
Joey Gallo is on deck. Here comes the payoff pitch down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half here in extra innings. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. The winning run is at first base. The one and one pitch. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. a guy that found a way to make a difference he's the tops player of the game yeah he was a big factor in this one guys he swung himself into a three hit ball game so he was seeing the ball really well and put some good swings on it too Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one the final. Jose LeClerc claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rangers, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Red Sox, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 39 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Globe Life Park: 48,114. The Rangers thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you. And